Hi everybody. I'm in the greenhouse today. It's very cold out, but I need to get, I need to get a lot of transplanting done. So today I'm planting my peppers and eggplants seedlings, and uh, these are greenhouse starter start and a small greenhouse. And I, I need to get these out and put them in a, a, a larger container now so they the roots can spread out. So I'll just show everybody how I do it. Let's see if I can get this camera focused right. So I'll just grab some out of my fingers like this. Careful because they're very fragile. And uh, I put them in here. Just poke my finger in the soil like that and cover the root up. Just like so. And these should starts to grow better now that they got the more room for their for their uh, root system to grow see that this is getting tight now so they need to come out they got their secondary leaves on that's what you wait for you wait for the secondary leaves so they uh and you uh they got a root system without the secondary leaves they they probably won't have a good root system to try to remove out of their containers so uh, wait for their their second secondary leaves see now it's got three leaves on it's called secondary leaf and you uh, can plant them because they'll have some root now that you can move move it's important so uh there's a quick video here uh, it's a uh, Let's see what temperature it is in here. Let's see here. I got the door cracked because it's so hot in here. It's uh, over 100 in here. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> it's in the upper 20s, low 30s Fahrenheit. And uh, it's, it's cold and it's windy out and it's not a nice day to, you know, I don't feel like going out in that right now. So you get uh, get a chance to do greenhouse work when it's just cold out. So uh, this one don't have a secondary leaf on, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. Just gotta be careful removing them. You know, dig your finger under the roots if you plant them like this, so you get the uh, the root system with the plant out and uh, uh, there you are so by springtime these are ready to grow my whole problem I have here is uh, I wasn't very successful at growing eggplants because I started them too late so uh, instead of starting in, in March I, this time I started them in February so I get a jump on this this time I hope I hope it worked because I love to have eggplants in the garden that would be nice some of these I'll just double in here that don't look too good and they can they can uh, have a choice if they if they grow fine not well there's a pretty placement in there. So just be careful how you split them apart. Like that. See that? I just put the uh, my finger in, in in the hole there and place the plant inside it. And there you go. And uh, they should be in really nice size by planting season usually it's may in new, here in northern new jersey because we, uh, we do have frost yet in early may so you don't want to take that chance that you lose them so you plant them too early it's not a good idea though you a lot of, a lot of farmers will try to get a jump on that and take that chance And it's okay, you know, everybody's trying to beat the system, you know. I don't need to get them out early. 
so they're going to stay in the greenhouse until I know the frost is done. Usually, in here in northern New Jersey, here and where I am, uh, Mother's Day, after Mother's Day, you're safe, usually safe from frost. And you can put your plants out. That's the usual theory here in my area here in northern New Jersey. And usually it's accurate. I am actually hot and ready to take my lawn sleeve shirt off here. It's it's very warm in this greenhouse. And uh, you want it to uh, be warm here this time of the year in a, in a greenhouse because it heats it up. As I said, I got the water barrels laying here filled with water. And uh, they'll heat up. And at night they'll release the warmth out of the water and uh, keep the greenhouse the chill out of it as, as i said i don't i don't hate this greenhouse i uh unless i had to if it goes down below in the teens you know then i'll, then I'll put the heater in here electric heater so all right well anyway this is uh, how i do i have two flats planted here let's get another one going you want to see another one? Want me to do another one? I'm probably, I'm sure you do. I'm not doing another one. Let's see where I can put this so I don't knock it over. Because I'm a big klutz sometimes. You know, it happens. Okay. So, uh, once again, uh, uh, I recycle a lot of uh, these planters uh, here like this. I got actually open this door a little bit it's getting so hot in here okay stuffy i recycle them and uh you yeah you can go out and buy these but uh yeah you find these along the side of the road a lot of people throw them away and uh that's okay you know uh, i'm always out for the lookout for these oh that's too big i want the smaller ones Always out for a lookout for these planters. Let's see if we can find the small ones. What did I, I had a whole bunch. What are they doing? And there they are. So I, I never had to buy these these planters, these little containers here. Never had to do that because I either had them given to me. And or the people are throwing them away, and I picked them up. I was told these are not recyclable, so I, I don't hold me on that. Now I'm just told told that these aren't recyclable, these containers. But I I take them and I make use of them. These are probably. 10 to 20 years old these containers and if I just keep making use of them and, and every year they're go, they go out and if you're careful uh, taking the plant out of them you can use them, use them over and over and over again sometimes they start getting a little beat beat up but, So, and it's time to throw them away, but I hate to throw away stuff like this that I can use. Look at that. So see, I fill up, fill these all up. I try to make use of all the room I have here. Look at that now. Maybe I can, you know what? Maybe I can fit another one in there. Let's see. I got a collection of all different size con uh, these containers. Let's see. No, let's squeeze it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to be planting a plants the same way. And uh, this is pre-mixed. I mix this myself. It's a uh, 
the uh, Miracle Girl potting soil and it comes dry in the bag and uh, I put them in a five gallon pail like this the, the, the soil and I, uh, I mix water in it and you get a nice uh, moist potting soil it comes out and it's very very good ready to use so uh, I don't ever take the soil out of the bag and and just put plants in it and then water it because it's, it's so dry the soil that uh, it will never never penetrate and, and, the, and the plant will dry out let's see if I get that out the floor so it's a simple way to do it just take a pail I use this five gallon pail like you see right there and uh, uh, fill it up with the soil dump some water in it mix it through and you got nice moist soil ready to go the plants will appreciate it And we jump for the uh, plant to start growing instead of the dry soil. So this is the time of year where I do a lot of transplanting. I, I do this right through March. And uh, uh, because I grow so much, uh, so many vegetables, like you can go to a greenhouse and, and they'll, they'll have beautiful plants ready to plant for you. But I see I cannot afford to do that. I start all my plants from seedlings from seeds. And uh, uh, that's the only way I can do it because I cannot afford to buy the plants. And this works fine. And you know, uh, it, it's... It's a it's a learning experience. This is a great way to if you have some kids, teach them how to to grow plants like this. They get their hands in it. I remember my mother got me into gardening when I was five years old, and uh, uh, I uh, I loved it. I, uh, I couldn't wait. She showed me all these packets of seeds and said, uh, what, you, what do you want to plant? And I would point it out and then she would come outside with me and I'd have a shovel in my hand. And uh, uh, a little five-year-old, I mean, how, how, how much could a little five-year-old dig? But uh, I yeah, was always a tall kid, you know. So I did it. And... Uh, you just then you know it's so amazing you know for a little kid to see all those plants growing and uh, picking your, your uh, vegetables and all. And I remember, of course, the, the the downside is you know you go through all that work and then an animal. <laughs> yeah, it's always a way an animal or or something eats it all, and he's like, oh. I'm never going to do this again, but I'll just keep trying, you know. And uh, uh, that that was one of the uh, my, uh, the gardens at my mother's place had a lot of sun, and uh, you know that mother my mother's long gone, of course, you know. But uh, uh, back then it was so sunny in the yard, you know, you could grow vegetables and stuff. Now now it's a great flower place. To grow flowers anyway uh I'm, I'm raving on again here everybody sorry about that you know but this is this is how i do it and it always brings back memories of uh growing plants when since i was a kid and uh, uh, it's a great way to get your children interested in uh things other than computers and video games and stuff like that you know, and uh, who knows? They might get interested in, in this 
doing this and it can be rewarding or it can be discouraging but anyway so so this once again to get back to this i'll stop raving while i'm talking here uh I take the plant i take my finger underneath the, the plant and <clears throat> get the root out see that and then uh see the root that's enough root to secondary leaves are on it and uh I put my finger in a in the uh the soil here like that I punch a hole in it and it's it's then you put your plant in it and cover it up just like so very easy to do again this is uh my way of doing it and uh it, it's a cheap way to do it because i i never had to buy these planters here i would use again uh, in the past video i used cups here that they need more soil the cabbages and uh, that's why i used the disposable party cups there but these uh they they uh they do fine in their own uh, spot like this some of these don't have secondary leaves but th those should be all right if you're careful when you remove them and uh you can make use of it i just want to get these in now because uh i got to make room in my starter greenhouse for more plants and that will be more flowers and the tomatoes next so these are ready these are planted in february and they gotta get transplanted in a bigger container now and that's what i'm here to do today so uh i'm gonna continue the plant I won't keep the camera rolling because it can get pretty boring. So uh, I hope this is helpful for all you gardeners out there. And uh, this is, really works this way. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to start your own seedlings. You don't need a greenhouse either, by the way. You can just start it in a, one of those indoor greenhouses in your house and put some lamps in it. Or you don't even have to have a greenhouse. Just put a, your uh, plants on a a, a a shelf with uh, uh, some lighting for your plants, and they'll do fine. Yeah. So uh, uh, it, and it, uh, if you want to plant a lot of plants, this is the way to go. You can save so much money instead of buying it in a, from a, a nursery. And uh, uh, you, if you have the time, and you, or you don't need a lot of time, this is the way to do it. So oh, there you go. So I planted a whole two, two of these flats here now of my A plants. And uh, I'll continue here right to the end of the day here, planting more. So I hope you liked my video today and my lecture. <laughs> Yeah, I always do that, don't I? And uh, please stop by again here. Uh, I uh, always am doing something here at the Blueberry Farm. It's not just blueberries, everybody. It's, it's a lot of different things going on. And uh, you get to see different things other than just one subject. And uh, I know that's that's always something that's enjoyable to see, you know. So uh, stop by again. There we go. I'm going to say it now. So please stop by again and like, share, and subscribe. And uh, have any comments, let me know. Love to hear from you. And uh, that's it, everybody. Thank you. And let's see if I can get my camera off without ruining this. So... We got dirty hands. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye for now.